Hey everyone welcome to Health Tutor. In this video we talk about 8 signs and symptoms of protein deficiency. Protein is the building block of your muscles, skin, enzymes and hormones, and it plays an essential role in all body tissues. What is protein deficiency? Protein deficiency is when your intake is unable to meet your body's requirements. An estimated 1 billion people worldwide suffer from inadequate protein intake. The problem is especially severe in Central Africa and South Asia, where up to 30% of children get too little protein from their diet. Certain people in developed countries are also at risk. This includes people who follow an imbalanced diet, as well as institutionalized older people and hospitalized patients. While true protein deficiency is uncommon in the Western world, some people get very low amounts from their diet. Too little protein may cause changes in body composition that develop over a long period of time, such as muscle wasting. Protein deficiency can affect almost all aspects of body function. As a result, it is associated with many symptoms. Keep watching till the end to find 8 signs of protein deficiency. 1. Fatty liver. Fatty liver is common symptom of kwashior core as a fatty liver, or fat accumulation in liver cells. Left untreated, the condition may develop into fatty liver disease, causing inflammation, liver scarring and potentially liver failure. Fatty liver is a common condition in obese people, as well as those who consume a lot of alcohol. Why it occurs in cases of protein deficiency is unclear, but studies suggest that an impaired synthesis of fat-transporting proteins, known as lipoproteins, may contribute to the condition. 2. Skin, hair and nail problems. Protein deficiency often leaves its mark on the skin, hair and nails, which are largely made of protein. For instance, kwashiorkor in children is distinguished by flaky or splitting skin, redness and patches of depigmented skin. Hair thinning, faded hair color, hair loss, alopecia, and brittle nails are also common symptoms. However, these symptoms are unlikely to appear unless you have a severe protein deficiency. 3. Loss of muscle mass. Protein is essential for muscle growth and maintenance. Loss of muscle mass is one of the first signs of inadequate protein intake. 4. Stunted growth in children. Protein not only helps maintain muscle and bone mass, but it's also essential for body growth. Thus, deficiency or insufficiency is especially harmful to children whose growing bodies require a steady supply. In fact, stunting is the most common sign of childhood malnutrition. In 2013, an estimated 161 million children suffered from stunted growth. Observational studies show a strong association between low protein intake and impaired growth. Stunted growth is also one of the main characteristics of kwashiorkor in children. 5. Edema. Edema, which is characterized by swollen and puffy skin, is a classic symptom of kwashiorkor. Scientists believe it is caused by low amounts of human serum albumin, which is the most abundant protein in the liquid part of blood, or blood plasma. One of albumin's main functions is to maintain oncotic pressure, a force that draws fluid into the blood circulation. In this way, albumin prevents excessive amounts of fluid from accumulating in tissues or other body compartments. Because of reduced human serum albumin levels, severe protein deficiency leads to lower oncotic pressure. As a result, fluid accumulates in tissues, causing swelling. For the same reason, protein deficiency may lead to fluid buildup inside the abdominal cavity. A bloated belly is a characteristic sign of kwashiorkor. 6. Greater risk of bone fractures. Muscles are not the only tissues affected by low protein intake. Your bones are also at risk. Not consuming enough protein may weaken your bones and increase the risk of fractures. One study in postmenopausal women found that a higher protein intake was associated with a lower risk of hip fractures. The highest intake was linked to a 69% reduced risk, and animal source protein appeared to have the greatest benefits. 7. Increased severity of infections. A protein deficit can also take its toll on the immune system. Impaired immune function may increase the risk or severity of infections, a common symptom of severe protein deficiency. For instance, one study in mice showed that following a diet consisting of only 2% protein was associated with a more severe influenza infection, compared to a diet providing 18% protein. Even marginally low protein intake may impair immune function. 
One small study in older women showed following a low-protein diet for nine weeks significantly reduced their immune response. 8. Greater appetite and calorie intake. Although poor appetite is one of the symptoms of severe protein deficiency, the opposite seems to be true for milder forms of deficiency. When your protein intake is inadequate, your body attempts to restore your protein status by increasing your appetite, encouraging you to find something to eat. But a protein deficit doesn't aimlessly drive the urge to eat, at least not for everyone. It may selectively increase people's appetite for savory foods, which tend to be high in protein. While this may certainly help in times of food shortage, the problem is that modern society offers unlimited access to savory, high-calorie foods. Low protein intake may increase appetite. While a greater appetite is beneficial in times of food shortage, it may promote weight gain and obesity when food is plentiful. Thank you for watching Health Tutor and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content on the way.